Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I am speaking to you from the city of Cape Town in the country of South Africa. Do you see the beautiful mountains behind me? When we cross the mountainous region, there is a beautiful sea. We can see riches and prosperity everywhere. This is a beautiful country with mountains and valleys. It is a fertile country as well. This is where we get quality coal. This is where world famous diamonds and gold are found. Not only that, there is prosperity everywhere we see. We can see olive trees over here. Fruit trees and vineyards are found in abundance. They produce wine here in this country and send it across the world. And this is indeed a very prosperous country. And I am really happy to be speaking to you from there today. Do you know what other joy there is? 80% of the people in this country are Christians. And so, this is a Christian country. The president who rules this country is also a Christian. I'm very happy to speak with you from such a beautiful Christian country. Okay, what word does the Lord God have for us today in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 23? You will walk safely in your way and your foot will not stumble. You are facing some fear in the path you are on. Shall we do this or not? Fear of whether this be a success or a failure. The path that your children are on, the path that you are going through in your business, ministry, work and family matters. Will the path that you are going through be the right one? Will it be blessed? A fear in the path that we take, a fear of whether we will stumble. The Lord says, my son, my daughter, then you will walk safely in your way and your foot will not stumble. He says, don't be afraid, but these verse begins with the word then. If you ask when, only if we look at the previous verses we will know. It is said we should receive sound wisdom and discretion. The Lord is our wisdom. The Lord gives us good counsel. If we make him our own and walk in his wisdom and sound discretion, then you will walk safely in your ways and not be affected. The scripture says that you will not stumble. So we need the wisdom and sound discretion of the Lord God. The Lord should be with us. I am reminded of an incident many years ago. We serve the Lord as the Jesus redeems family. Two brothers in the ministry brought a case to me. They said, brother, he has done this against me. The other person says, not me, he has done me wrong. Two brothers have criticized each other and the case has come to me now. I should give them my judgment. I see that it is a small issue, not a big deal at all. It created a difference of opinion among the two of them. Even if I give them the right judgment, it will affect one person. If the heart is affected, how can we serve together? We aren't running a business or working in an office. We are serving God. We should pray and serve together. Oneness of mind is necessary. It is common for small problems to come in the family. What judgment can I pass now? I made a prayer unto the Lord in my heart. And the Lord gave a beautiful piece of advice. That is the wisdom of God. The Lord told me one thing. We have a practice in our ministry. Before you come to the office, you have to pray privately for at least one hour because it is a ministry. When you come, you should pray for one another. We have emphasized this to everyone. I asked them, did you pray for an hour today? Did you pray for everyone who works in our ministry, our office? Did you pray for him? He said, I didn't pray. I asked the other person, did you pray for an hour today? Did you pray for others? He said, no, both of you go and pray at least for an hour and come back. I will investigate your case and give you my judgment. They went but never returned. Didn't it become all right? The end to the problem was the wisdom of God. Only if God is with us, his wisdom will be revealed. 
then regardless of what you do you should do it with the lord god i want your wisdom lord give me your wisdom be with me and lead me wisely if you pray like this you will not stumble at all you will stand firm in everything he will lead you beautifully will you say a prayer dear lord you are a god of wisdom you give us sound discretion be with me and lead me wisely i will not stumble i will not face any obstacles you will lead us beautifully i believe it in the name of lord jesus christ amen amen